just before I began, you know, I'll just say this. I, when I was first taught many years ago, uh, my tutor said, now, Sean, sure, you've got these six sensibilities. You do realise that when you stand in front of an audience or a congregation in the future, and you just scan your eyes across all those faces, straight away, you'll know whether things are going to go good or not so good. So I look around you now and I say, good night, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay. I think I'm at the back in the middle. There's a lady in the spirit world drawing close to me. And I feel her name was Elizabeth. You might have known about Betty, but I feel it's Elizabeth. And I'm at the back near the middle. That's the way it seems to me. She, thank you very much. Can you just pass the microphone? Oh, by the way, we have this microphone, as I say, coming around. You don't have to use it. But just like Colin Fry and Derek and Cora, um, the <coughs> stage mediums tend to use microphones, so I like to involve everyone. <coughs> Can I hear your voice, sir? Hello. Oh, that's a beautiful voice. Thank you very much, sir. This lady called Elizabeth as she draws close to me, and as she's drawing close, she gives me the impression that she suffered long and hard when she was on this side of life. Do you understand that, sir? Yeah. yeah. She also is putting impressions into my mind as though somebody related to you or within the family works with or used to work within the telecommunications industry. Are you aware of that, sir? I'm aware of that, yeah. Because she is mentioning that. But she says, my knees are fine now. My knees are fine. So I assume she had some difficulty with her pins. Would you understand that, sir? Well, it's a bit fine, yeah. Thank you very much. Um, She's also given me the impression that there's another lady with her. And it sounds like, if I've got this correct, Kathy or Kathleen. Would you understand about that, sir? Yeah. Was that her sister? Yeah. Thank you, because it feels like that was her sister. And she also wants to be known to you. And I also feel that John is there as well. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Now, just a moment. <coughs> What's this? You know, on the way here, sir... Just all right, lads. By the way, if you hear me talking, talking to yourself in this profession, you know, it's an occupational advantage. In some, it's a definite hindrance, but in this, it's an advantage. I get the impression that you didn't know, take the normal route this evening on the way here. That's right. She tells me you went a bit of a higgledy piggledy way, and yeah. she tells me as you were sitting there in the car, you were getting what all of us drivers hate to have people around us giving us advice as to what turning we should take, what route we should have done or followed, and advice of that general nature. You would understand that, sir, would you? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but there were about two or three occasions she tells me that you exclaimed loudly something to the effect of, would you let me do it? I know what you just said, but I'm doing my best. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Is it you, sir, who've also got family in Salford in Manchester? Yeah. Thank you, because she's mentioning that. And is it you also, sir, that have some... I'm trying to get the name right. Is it Timberley? Timberley? Yeah. Uh, You've got family connections there? Yeah. She's mentioning that. And is it you, sir, that also live at the end or near the end of the road? No. no. What about the people that are with you? No, no. Well, no, that might not be for you. I might be moving off you in a moment. If I am moving <laughs> off you, please take the love and thought of this fine lady and thank you for assisting me in making that very precious and important link between this world and the next. Okay, okay thank you, sir.